some DIY army and welcome back to Fashion Attack. Today we're doing an episode that I'm super excited about because again, it's one of you who suggested it to me. It's Nathan. Actually, he suggested me so many ideas. He's basically a genius and he even told me why not doing it with pipes. Yeah, he even gave me the solution to make the tutorial. So basically he's the smart one, not me. Go give him some love. We're gonna try making this super cool chair over here. And the price on the market is just unpronounceable. It's just like so freaking expensive. And we're gonna make it for something like 50 euro, $50 around that amount. We're gonna calculate it at the end, but that's more or less what I spent up to now. And the best part is that there's no sewing machine. No sewing for this tutorial. <laughs> You thought I was gonna forget to list you the full amount. You're wrong. First thing we are gonna do is calculate the height of our legs. There is no pipe that is exactly the perfect height, so we're gonna have to cut out a piece. And the trick is first to position also the first curve on top of the short leg so that we can make sure that we're gonna cut it, included also the extra height that this is gonna give it to it give to it there we go now we are gonna place it straight and measure it and what we want is 40 centimeters of height Once we mark where is 40 centimeters from the top, we can finally use the bottom to do the entire circle around the leg. We're gonna do exactly the same thing with another one. So just place it exactly the same height and then follow the same line all around your pipe. Till we take out our jigsaw and finally cut it out. This is not an easy thing because you cannot cut straight. So what you do is a sort of little massage on the side of your pipe to you create a hole where you can put the blade inside and cut it all away. There we have them. If we look at the picture, we see that there's three main, that's five, there's three main points of connection uh, where we actually do see the sewings on the fabric itself. So that's what we're gonna keep in mind and what we're gonna do. So first is only the legs and the connection that is gonna go under your butt. But there's a trick because it's super hard to put this inside. So every single time we are gonna put a little bit of oil on the inside and some super glue to keep it together so that you're not gonna fall on the floor. Put your glue after the gummy, so not on the plastic gummy over there. And then you spray the oil on the second piece and push it inside together. Guys, I'm telling you, it's important to do it because without of it, I spent like five minutes putting one own little piece of pipe and this saved me so much time. There we go. Now we are building the second part and that is the belly. The legs are drying over there and let's make the two million curves that we need for this belly over here. Guys, you know that I'm 100% honest with you and this was a mess. I had to build it and unbuild it several times because every time I did the curve in the wrong direction. So just put the picture of your chair on the side while you're building it so that it's a lot easier to know in which direction to curve your pipe. It's gonna help you so much. You don't want to do it inside and then spend your time trying to open it again. But the final shape that you want for the second section of the body is this one. It's basically a weird V with two legs pointing outside. This is where your arm is gonna go. Top part! The back of your chair is gonna be composed by two diagonal ones, so not the complete L curve. Not this one, but more diagonal. So two of this one, one of this one, and the long leg on the back that we're gonna have to cut at the end. Same identical thing also for this segment. You put your glue, you put your oil to slip it inside, and you are done. Day number two. Yeah, this guy was supposed to help me, but... Gosha! You're on the way. Grazie, dammelo qui, dammelo qui, dammelo qui. Dammi! 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 Grazie, grazie. Yes, I do know that I told you that I wanted in three separate pieces, but we are gonna separate them again in a few seconds. First, it was important to collect them, just to understand where to go and cut the longer leg on the back. Now, you see, this is where we have to go and cut it away. 
place the half chair on something taller so that you can finally mark exactly where the front leg arrives compared to the back leg. Then we do the same technique as before, a little massage on the edge, put your blade inside and cut it out. Now that we have every single piece ready, it's time to make it more comfortable. I've got this foam that is super thin. Actually, I couldn't find it of the right size, so I cut into the foam that I bought, but you can buy it thin, and then we're gonna go and wrap the entire leg with it all the way, even through the verbs. Obviously, the size of your foam is not gonna be perfect for your pipe, so cut away the extra pieces and start stapling it one on top of the other. I had to cut it in several segments because my foam was a square, and every time when you arrive to the curve, you have to make little cuts so to be able to cut, no, to fold the foam inside, and instead of overlaying it on top of the same foam that would make an extra weird volume, you cut away a little triangle and then staple it again inside, one on top of the other. We do it for the entire length of your pipe, but once you arrive to the end part, you leave five centimeter empty without any foam on it. We did it. We finished the first one and actually I had secretly done also the rest of the legs. Yes, I did leave five centimeters on the top and that's because this is the piece that connects to the other one. So you're gonna squeeze it inside and they're gonna close together. Every time that you arrive to the part that connects to the other piece of the leg, leave it empty so that you can squish it together. Now, I do know it does look like Frankenstein, but it's totally okay because instead I solved this and thought about a secret to cover it with fabric without sewing, without any kind of stitches and masking away all the staples that we did before. Day number three. And no, the truth is it doesn't take so long to make this chair. I could probably do it in one full day of work, but I do this in between the time that I have with my real job. And so sometimes it takes forever, but all we got left is to stick them together. We're gonna screw them so that we're sure that it's never gonna detach and then put the fabric on top. That is not fabric, it's a trick. Okay, here we go. We're gonna use these thingies over here that are basically like screws, but you can close them on the opposite side. Da, 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 like this and we are gonna go and make a hole on the base leg after the spot of the connection so a bit more deep like five centimeters later so that after we can connect the two legs together with this and it's never gonna open aside it's way stronger than any glue that we could find and we need this on two strategic spots Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? We are literally gonna use tights, a lot of tights to cover the entire chair. We're gonna use the base of our chair exactly as if it was legs and pull the fabric all inside so we don't have to do any sewing at all. There's not gonna be any seam or anything weird on the chair exactly like the original. It's like if it's a custom made piece. Also, my chair gained weight in Italy. I thought she had very tiny thighs, but she's a fatty. <laughs> Buying the excess of the tights was a good idea because it flattened out all the staples and the shapes on the bottom, but it's very hard to put it inside. Yes, at the end, you're gonna have this extra, but it doesn't matter because this one, we're gonna push it inside in between the two pipes. The hardest part of this tutorial is actually reassembling the chair together. I was completely lost, but you can do that. Just use some patience, like always. Ah, yes, it does look like a crazy octopus, but it's working. I totally, totally, totally do need another pair of tights layered on top of it, so two pair of tights per segment. But as you can see, this is working and it's like no sewing. So freaking cool, like it's super smooth. I'm gonna go and add the second pair of tights on top of it, so to cancel the whiteness, you can see the connection here is where the cut of the tights just goes perfectly inside. We still need to add the last legs on the back, and we're done. Yes, the 
chair is done and i sat on it it's comfortable it holds you it's amazing i'm super excited but before i show you the result like always let's go through the things i would have done differently there's a few of them and also subscribe give me a like and let's go and see it number one i told you that i would have spent 50 dollars on this tutorial but actually i ended up spending more because i decided to put three layers of tights yes you needed to make it very 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 dark and completely covering of the foam maybe actually you could buy a more thick tights and then two layers are enough but mine was super thin so i had to get three so at the end i think i spent around 90 dollars maybe i could have bought a cheaper and amazon but i wanted to finish the tutorial as soon as possible number two i told you to put only two screws in two specific spots of your pipes and that was a mistake i would suggest you to put screws in every piece of connection of your pipes because that's going to give it a lot of stability uh, i tried to sit on it the first time with only the first two screws and i felt like it would last one week and then i would die so i opened it again i added way more holes screwed it in at the end i think i added seven screws and now it's absolutely stable number three i do not believe in body shaming but my chair is oh oh my foot <laughs> number three um i do not believe in body shaming but my chair is so the dimension of the pipes plus the foam made it way bigger than the original one. So I would say that because you're not going to be able to find a pipe that is just a few centimeters thinner than this one, buy a super thin foam. So that it just makes it a little bit of comfort, but it's not going to make the volume of the chair bigger. Set this, we are ready. Let's go see the result.